So today I'm gonna give you a tour of my kitchen and um, you're gonna see the types of foods that I eat in maintaining my vegan and gluten-free diet. So a little bit about me, I am a high-carb, low-fat vegan. Um, I alternate sometimes between being raw till 4, meaning I eat raw foods all the way till 4 o'clock and then past 4 o'clock I will eat a cooked meal. Uh, other days, you know, I eat more cooked foods, um, mainly on the starch solution diet. So lots of potatoes and rice, you know, good unprocessed carbs basically. You know, all this really helps to keep me healthy and lean. Another thing about me is that I'm gluten intolerant. So I'm going to show you some of the food items that I have that are gluten free and um, you know, they'll give you a little idea about how I maintain my gluten free kitchen. So I guess uh, let's get started. Okay, so here is my kitchen. Take a look. Okay, so I'm going to start with this shelf here. Um, I have these spices here that I've owned for like years and years. Um, I don't really use these, this is just mainly for decoration because the more current spices are at the back, which I'll show you later. Um, here is where I keep my rice. This is organic brown rice and I have um, organic uh, white jasmine rice. And um, the thing about me is that I um, try and buy as much organic as possible. In fact, 90% of my kitchen is organic. Um, you know, there are just some items that I just really cannot find organic, but I always try and buy what's in season. So, as organic as I can. Ta-da! Okay, so as you can see, this is my refrigerator and it's super organized because I really like to know where things are. Now on the top shelf, I have tons of fruit. I mean, I eat so much fruit, it's crazy. I have pears here, I have like peaches, cherries, blueberries, and then I have like all my favorite organic maju dates. And then at the back here, I have like some organic fruit spreads, maple syrup, and organic applesauce. Now moving on to the second shelf, um, I have here some vegetables like mushrooms. I love organic crimini mushrooms and then some zucchini and then here's some cooked butternut squash um, I like to cook some stuff ahead of time so you know I can just munch on I have a half-eaten carrot um, some champagne because um, it helps with life and then down here is where I have um, vegetable broth I mean I cook a lot with vegetable broth because um, I don't really cook with much oil being you know, a high carb, low fat vegan. So this is really what I use a lot of the times. And now here is a great gluten free product. It is organic uh, corn tortillas that are gluten free and it's the Mirancho brand. And I love this brand. It's non GMO, it's organic, it's great. Um, so if you are gluten intolerant like I am, this is a really good brand to go for. And then moving on here, I have apple cider vinegar for salads. I love this as a dressing. I have tons of water. And then now here, uh, this is where I have my baked sweet potatoes that are prepped um, beforehand. You know, I like to bake a bunch and then keep them here and then just pull them out as I go. And uh, finally at the back, I have some beer. I don't really drink beer because it's got gluten in it, um, but it really is for guests. Moving on down here is where I keep all my vegetables. I have so many different vegetables because I love variety. Um, I have cauliflower, I have garlic, I have like a bunch of like um, mixed uh, vegetables here. It's like baby spinach, chard and kale, bell peppers, more kale because I'm obsessed with kale and then oranges. So this is where I keep my condiments and I'm going to show you some of the stuff here. Wow. Here is organic maple butter. This is like one of my favorite things in the world to eat. It's some um, maple syrup that's been churned and stirred into a creamy consistency and uh, it doesn't have any fat in it and it's super super delicious. Now here is a vegan butter, it's Earth Balance um, buttery spread and I you know, really don't eat it but I have it here you know, just to have it. Now here are also some of my essentials. These are gluten-free um, 
Thai curry paste. This is green curry paste and this is red curry paste and it's a Thai kitchen brand. Um, so again, I always look at labels when I shop for gluten-free items. I always go for brands that say gluten-free and of course they have to taste good. I have tamarind paste here too and that's gluten-free, love it. Some boring stuff that I don't really need to talk about. Um, here, oh I love this, this is coconut aminos. It's kind of like a soy sauce replacement. I don't really think of it as a replacement. I mean, it kind of is different on its own. I love it because it's got a sweet aftertaste and it's uh, a little bit savory and salty. And I really love it for stir fries. Oh, oh wait, okay, this, oh my goodness, I love this. This is um, the Pure Pantry brand of buckwheat pancake mix. It's um, so good, it's gluten-free. Oh, it's like the perfect pancake mix for someone who doesn't eat gluten. I have polenta. Polenta is always good for gluten-free people like me. This is nutritional yeast. This is the vegan um, equivalent of like cheese. You know, it gives your food a cheesy flavor. And now here I have organic tamari sauce, which is like, you know, gluten-free soy sauce. Um, and uh, yeah, I sometimes make stir fry with this. It's good. And then here is my pantry. Um, this is where I keep a bunch of stuff, you know, like coconut oil, and uh, I love these crushed tomatoes, the Jovial brand, 100% organic. And I love that it comes, you know, in a glass jar, so it's BPA-free. I mean, I do buy stuff in cans, but I try and avoid it, um, just because of the whole BPA thing. It's just safer to get stuff in uh, jars. And then, oh my goodness, I love these Turkish figs, dried Turkish figs. Fantastic. And then down here, spices, spices, spices. Um, I like Spice Islands, this brand, because they're gluten-free. So it's a safe one for any of you out there who are looking for gluten-free spices. I love gourmet salts. Oh my goodness, this is black truffle salt, garlic salt, and I have like lemon salt. I have all kinds of salts. I mean, I just cook with this stuff. I love it. And then being a potato-obsessed, high-carb queen, I gotta have my potatoes, you know? I have like uh, yellow ones, I have red ones. If they have purple ones, I would buy them. I just fucking love the colors. My favorite brand of pasta, Tinkiada. And uh, this is organic brown rice pasta. So I guess that concludes the tour of my kitchen. Um, I hope you found, um, you know, this kind of insightful and a little fun. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, if you have any comments, just leave them below. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, I'll see you in my next episode. Ciao.